Don't freak out, runners. You've missed a workout, and now you're thinking, oh my God, I've just derailed all of my training. I'm not gonna make it to race day because you missed a workout. Wrong. The first thing I need you guys to do if you miss a workout is just relax. Training plans are meant to be flexible and meant to be moved around. We can't all follow the same schedule each and every day of each and every week through the, some 26 week training plans. It's just not gonna happen. So don't worry, I got you. Follow along with me and I'm gonna teach you what to do if you miss a workout. Just because you've missed a day or two of training doesn't mean that you've lost all this fitness. It is not that black and white. Just because you missed one day doesn't mean you're gonna be one day worse come race day. It doesn't work like that. Training is all about efficiency and using the time that you have to the best of your ability. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is just moving those puzzle pieces around in your training plan to make it work best for you so that you get the most out of that plan and you can put in as much energy as you possibly can. So before I jump into today's video, just a little PSA. If you've clicked on this video because you're injured and that's what's holding you up from training, pause, we have a different plan of attack for you. We wanna make sure that you are prepared and ready to get on your training so you can head over to our channel. We have tons of different videos on how to come back from injury and get you running. But for the rest of you, we are talking about those one-off days when maybe you got sick, something came up and you had to miss a big workout. So let's get back into the rest of the video, let's go. Okay, so you miss a long run. And especially if you're training for that marathon distance, those long runs can be super important. Normally in the marathon training schedule or in any longer distance training schedule, you see those long runs being done on a Saturday or a Sunday, generally to help stimulate race day. So you're kind of going throughout the week and you know that always at the end of the week, that's when the long run is. And generally that's when we have off, right? So we get to do those long runs then. For example, if you miss a 20 mile run this weekend and now you're going into the next week thinking, oh my God, I have an even longer run next Saturday what am I gonna do? My best suggestion would be to kind of break up that 20 mile run into very small runs and add it into your upcoming week. And it's going to feel like a little bit more than you wanna do each day, but at least you're gonna be getting that time on feet training. You're gonna have that little bit more mileage under your belt because if you just went into the week not having added any more, that 21, 22 miler that you're gonna to have to do next Saturday is gonna feel much larger than it has to be. You may be a little tired going into it, but at least you know that you've gotten a little bit more mileage under your belt leading you up going into the next week. Now, if you know that you're gonna miss that 20 miler, you have a prior engagement coming up, the best thing that I can suggest for that is to break up that 20 mile run. Maybe doing 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening, or doing 10 on one of your weekend days and 10 on the other weekend day just to once again get that time on feet training you're not going to get the same benefit going into it as that long continuous run but at least you got your mileage in next we'll talk about what to do if you've missed a speed session that's a tempo run or anything on the track the tricky part with this is that you don't want to do those tempo or speed workouts so close to your long run. Usually you don't wanna do it the day before or the day after. So it really only gives you a smaller chunk of time when you can get it done. If you can't do it in any of those days and the only day you have available is the day before your long run, I suggest modifying it, cutting it back a little bit, keep a similar intensity, but the duration we can scale back. These track sessions require a lot of energy, a lot of precision, and a lot of mental focus. So if you are coming off of being sick, maybe dealing with a little bit of an injury there, you're not feeling totally recovered, or you're bringing in a lot of stress from work into that workout, and you're gonna only be able to give it less than 50% of your effort, skip the workout. Bring that energy that you're saving into next week and hit it hard because there's really no gain from doing these kinds of workouts at that low level. When we talk about missing a strength session, it's similar to those speed workouts where we don't wanna have them done on the day before or the day after that long run. Because when we do that, it's just adding so much onto the body. Those strength workouts are really gonna tax you in a way that running doesn't. So we don't wanna feel super fatigued going into that long run. And the day after we want to be able to recover properly. So for those strength sessions, the good news is, unlike the speed workouts, they can be modified. We can take weight away, we can take away rounds, we can add rounds, all these different things that are going to help you take that workout and do it in a different way. One thing you can do is add these strength sessions onto an easy run day. So they can always be added in there. And if you already think that's too much with doing a run and a strength workout, you can 
Once again, shorten that strength session, but make it more specific. So say you need to work on a little bit of quad strength, a little bit of hamstring strength. Maybe you just be really specific with those movements and do some lunges and squats, and that's it for just 10 minutes, all body weight. You're still gonna get a good workout, you're still gonna get the benefits of strength, but you don't have to take a whole day around this one particular workout. Now, I know as runners, we really don't like taking those unplanned rest days. So remember, there's always something that you can be doing. You can get down on the ground for 10 minutes with a foam roller. You can really work on maybe working out those calves because I know they always need a little bit more love. Or you can head over to one of our follow along videos for a little warm up or cool down. That'll just get you moving so you can feel like you did something. Got one right here and I'll see you in there.